In this video, we're going to be looking at recognizing personification with Arlo the author. Arlo the author is the clever canine who helps us to identify and explain how meaning is enhanced by choice of words and phrases. Personification is a powerful descriptive tool that describes something that is not a human in a human-like or person-like way. For example, an author might write, the leaves danced in the wind. Although danced is a human action and leaves can't really dance, it gives a strong impression to the reader about how the leaves were moving and that they were probably swaying rhythmically. Another example of personification would be, the alarm screamed in my ear. Screamed is a human action and alarms can't really scream, but it helps us to understand how the alarm sounded and that the noise was probably loud, high pitched and unpleasant. Let's take a look at the beginning of a poem titled The Monster. While I read aloud, see if you can identify any examples of personification in the poem. The Monster. When I was young, I would sail through endless trees, a flash of orange in a sea of green. Each night, branches would hold me in their arms and rock me to sleep, whispering their secrets. When I awoke, I'd emerge like a king, surveying their land, the world was mine for the taking. I lived in blurs of green and yellow, through rushes of brown and gold that hit my face as I swung for miles and miles. I was free until the fire came. The beginning of this poem has lots of examples of personification. Let's take a look at the verse beginning, each night. In this verse, the author has personified the branches of the trees. Although tree branches don't have arms, but can't hold people and rock them, the description gives us the impression that the orangutan feels safe and comfortable within the tree. The author also uses personification to describe the orangutan when they write, I'd emerge like a king surveying their land. This gives the impression that the orangutan felt powerful and confident when looking out over the trees. Did you spot any other examples of personification? Well done if you spotted any other examples of personification. Let's take a look at the next part of the poem and see if we can answer some more personification questions. In this question, you are being asked to add two ticks to show which part of the extract are examples of personification. Read the new extract now and hit play when you are ready to hear the answer. Let's read the options. Option one, as the trees moaned. Option two, still smouldered and smoked. Option three, the forest screamed for help. Option four, through rushes of brown and gold. Did you spot the two pieces of personification? Remember, personification describes something that is not a human in a human-like way. Which of these examples are giving human characteristics to something that's not human? Well done if you said number one and number three. Moaning and screaming are human characteristics that have been used to describe non-human things. As we know that the forest is on fire, smouldering and smoking are directly describing what's happening and they are not examples of personification. In this next question, you will need to read the next part of the poem and explain why you think the author has used personification to describe the machine. Top tip, as there are three answer lines available, you will need at least one sentence for your answer. You may wish to say your answer out loud or you may wish to write it down on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. Pause your video now and hit play when you have read through the new extract and thought of an answer. Do you have an answer? Great, let's take a look at the question. In this poem, the author has described a machine using personification. The monster, it roared and reared, its huge neck loomed, flashing six sharp teeth while the man in the gridded belly of the beast just watched. Explain why you think the author has chosen to describe the machine in this way. This question is subjective, so you may have a different answer to your friend. Subjective means based on your own ideas or opinions. For this question, you'll need to think about why someone might choose to use personification and the effect that has on the description. In this example answer, it says, I think they have described the machine using personification because it helps the reader to understand how scary the machine is to the orangutan. The roaring, rearing and looming all help it to sound more frightening. Remember, your answer might be different. Well done if you managed to get that question right. For our final question, you are being asked to find an example of personification in the final part of the poem and explain the effect that it has. You may wish to write your answer down on a whiteboard or a piece of paper, or you may just wish to say your answer out loud. 
pause your video now and hit play when you have read through the new text and have an answer. Do you have an answer? Great. Let's take a look at an example answer. Remember, for these types of questions, your answer may be different to the one shown on the screen. An example of personification is, the machine had one. The effect is that it makes you feel as if there is no hope for the orangutan because they have lost their home and cannot win against the machine. You may have also written, it makes you feel as though the forest and the machine were in a fight and the forest has lost. Well done if you found an example of personification and explained the effect that it had. Excellent work. If you're looking for any more English videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time.